The roller coaster ride this season has already taken us on, guys. We really thought this season was going to be different, but Fiat 500, what? We're always doing. They'll always come through, come through, come through. Because these results, I'm not going to lie, guys, I was discombobulated. Some of them, of course. And then why was Andre and Catherine in the bottom? I, 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 I'm really, really confused. Because whoever voted for Mitch and Medi, stand up. If you guys, if you guys are on my channel and you guys voted for Medi and Mitch, stand up. Or it's rigged, because I'm not understanding how so many people I don't spoke to about it said they voted for Andre and why, and he's in the bottom. I'm just, who all is voting for Medi and Mitch, stand up. Show yourself, because you're gonna go where? In the bin. Now guys, let me now just get into this review. Um, yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, okay, so the episode starts off with, um, Sammy, I think he's talking to the guys and he's saying that he really wants to kiss Leah. Like, they just got that chemistry. They just, you know, it's, it's just, you know, he had to stop himself from, for, for, from leaning forward and um, getting a kiss from her. But then he said she has no banter. Now, for me, guys, the fact that that's even something to quantify, like, don't get me wrong, guys, I'm a firm believer in. I need to be attracted to that person. That's step one. That's step one. Nothing comes before that. But immediately after step one comes step two, and that has to be personality. If the personality is not matching up, why would I want to kiss you? That's just a waste of my time. The, the conversation that they have are so dry. There's there's nothing I would I would personally wouldn't even want to be able to kiss her because I wouldn't want to be on on my own with her because there's nothing that she's giving. Now it's not like I like Sammy, but he gives more. He gives more energy. You can have a better conversation with him, even if it's going to be about some BS. You can have a better conversation with him. And even when they were speaking, there was just a, 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 a part of it when they, it was just silent. That is the nature of their relationship. Pure silence. Absolute pure silence. So then Jess comes back from her day and then everyone gets to meet Scott. And she's saying that being on the date with Scott made her realise how much she wants Sammy and that Scott is definitely not for her. And while she's saying that to the girls, they're like, oh my gosh, yeah, tell him, oh, so sweet. And then Leah starts to say that Sammy says he's still open. So I, this is what's the problem with a lot of these women in this in this, in this this villa. The way in which they, they listen loudly to things that benefit them and then close their ears to things that it also benefits them, but it's not what they want to hear, it's actually unreal. Because same thing with Tariq and, and, and Ella um, and Leah, Leah felt comfortable enough because Tariq was blowing smoke up her, up her, up her behind, yeah? So, in this situation here, would that not be the same situation? Does Le Leah doesn't look like a girl that's here playing with you. And she doesn't need to lie. She's a pretty girl. She does not need to lie. So, I think... And if you still just knows that this is going to happen. She knows it. She's just trying to hold back and be different about it. Now, guys, if I'm honest, this whole Catherine and Scott thing, guys, guys, I'm not going to lie. I was okay with the Shonda Rhimes effect now i'm over it guys i'm sorry i've got ptsd i'm not here for it i'm not interested i'm so sorry guys i'm so sorry i've got ptsd yeah and i, I ain't, it ain't gonna it's probably gonna last up until next season at least because i'm sorry this happens every single year i'm not here for it especially i don't know well, again i'm not saying that people don't have different types because i have dated different types of people but for me men like him i'm just not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure guys i'm not sure and again i do think i'm being somewhat biased and it is probably unfair but i guess i got ptsd i'm willing to admit it yeah I, I i am so anyway scott and Catherine are having a conversation and he asks her like i think are you closed off and though in the speed in which she said no it's probably even a good thing that Andre went home because the speed in which Catherine said no, it was too quick. It wasn't like, oh, are you closed off? I'm not closed off. I'm just getting to know. Like, you see the way I did it, guys? She said no. Like, she said no. Like, okay. We get it, Catherine. You're not closed off. Um, so, yeah. This could give, but I'm not going to, like, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to be skeptical for the next, I don't know how long this, this, carries on for i'm gonna be skeptical for most of it i'm not gonna dog him out because he hasn't done anything this is my own ptsd so i'm gonna try not to dog him out is what i'm gonna try not to um because yeah i just i just i don't, I, don't, I just don't want catherine to fall fast with zach i fell fast i'm not gonna lie we, 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 most of us did fall fast i just don't want her to fall fast i want her to use her head i don't want her to get lost in the sauce and in, in in the white sauce and the white chocolate sauce I don't, I don't i don't want that for her you know what i'm saying i don't want it um so yeah, I just I, I just got my eyes open, basically is what I'm saying. So then we see Whitney, Ella, and Jess have a conversation and 
um, Ella is trying to put Jess on game and basically say that it seems like Sammy's playing it down, Aaliyah's playing it down. I think that they're interested in each other just a bit more than they're saying. It could be nothing, but then it could be something. So I think, yeah, she was definitely trying to put her in game. And the funny thing about Jess is, I feel like, you know what, I'll get to you in a second. Okay, so Jess now was like, okay, let me go speak to, let me go speak to Sammy about it. And, you know, I've got a boat to speak with you. Da, 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 da. So then we see this really, really cringe, awkward and unnecessary conversation between Jess and Mitch. So Mitch is now here. He came up, he pulled Jess for a chat and he says to Jess, this is, guys, he, this, this is what this man said. He says to Jess, I am available to get to know you. As if Jess was sitting on the bench waiting for him as if he was a as if he was a boss and she was went out of bus stop that's that's how, that's, that's what he, he thinks he's the boss yeah he thinks he's the choo choo train that's what he thinks he is um and the way she was like ah oh, guys that blew me because we know what that means guys when if, if you're saying if you're trying to say it to a girl you like her she says ah oh, just not just just carry yourself to the to the friend zone just just politely quietly carry yourself to the friend zone because you're actually you're unserious and it's the whole thing is stupid like she did give him like a friendship hug because it's embarrassing like i agree with just that shit done been sold you're out here grasping at straws like mitch are you not embarrassed <laughs> like if shamelessness was a person it would be him i'm sorry guys have i done some shameful stuff in my life yes <laughs> like we all have but this man is on tv Remember, he's the one that's older and wiser. He's 26 years old, older and wiser. He knows life. He knows what he wants. And he's just here moving and acting erratic. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me and my homegirl. Like, it's really, really embarrassing um, what all is going on. And I think I skipped something anyway. Guys, honestly, I'm all over the place. Let me just quickly pause what I'm saying right now. Okay, go. so before that happened, Sammy and Jess had a conversation. And he was... Um, the, the, the vim, the energy that she was supposed to give him in that conversation fell flat. So I feel like I'm starting to realise that Jess is one of those girls that says something um, and, and, it, and it doesn't match up. So I, I see her. I see her. I see what she's doing now. I, I, I'm not keen on it, but I see her. And she's really falling for the BS hook, line and sinker. Yeah, Sammy got her like this. Honestly, the way these men got these these women like this is insane. He was saying that, oh, uh, yeah, I was speaking to Leah because people were saying that he was speaking to Leah all evening long. And that when he was speaking to Leah, all he was doing was thinking about her. And Jess really fell for that. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I'm not even gonna, I reckon Jess has more dating experience than I have, probably. And I'm not going to fall for that. I'm not going to fall. Because if you were thinking about me the whole time you were speaking to her, why are you even still speaking to her? But again, you can't pull a fast one on me. It's too, it, I'm sorry. You can't. I'm sorry. I'm too intelligent for this silliness. This is this. This is not even. This is not even like oh, he's the biggest player. No, this is like player 101. This is being slick 101. This is the first class. Jess, you didn't attend the first class. So why she thinks? Because even still, she knows deep down what's good, but she's deciding to ignore her intuition and go for it and believe the BS that. Sammy is all whispering in her ear. So yeah, going back to Mitch and Jess having a conversation, then he was talking about how when she was play, doing the football challenge, that's what made him fancy her. Like, guys, 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 guys. Mitch needs to go where? In the bin. Because what are you talking about? What are you, what are, who are you trying to deceive? The fact, I, honestly, I think I've already said it about him already. The fact that you're the dumbest one in the room and you think you're the smartest, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a real shame. It's, it's a real shame. And you're out here just lying unnecessarily. You never... I, well, I never got the... Mm, not my hair, sorry. I never got the inclination that he found her attractive. And I, I never got that. I know he was head over heels for um, Molly, but he didn't eat... Like, you know, see how he complimented Ella? Yeah, Ella, and saying that she was a really... Like, he never said that. I never heard any of that. So this is really coming out of left field, and he's just literally grasping at straws because he knows recouplings are coming and who's going to pick him. Absolutely nobody. So I wrote here, he's given desperate, he's given pathetic, and I feel like his family from Sheffield need to come, come, come down to London and come and collect their family member because he cannot be doing this on TV, guys, on, in 4K. This is going to be out here forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Like, this is going to be for, here forever. For real ever. 
it's just it's too much i'm not saying don't be like uh emotional and don't be in touch with your feelings but this is too much i don't care what the gender feels oh lord of mercy i don't like i really don't care it's just too much it's too much it's too much it's not a good look like and then of course other bombshells will be coming in and unless and i feel like they'll only couple up with him because they want to stay in the villa and he's someone single to talk to because anyone that's watching it that actually has sense would not be even trying to go for him it's it's it's, it's, it's an actual joke so moving on um jess tells ella what mitch done told her and then mitch tells the boys what he's just told jess and um yeah he was telling them like how it, the, the origin of, of it and the way they started laughing i know i i really know mitch wants to be one of the man them because the way in which he speaks the way in which he behaves even the way they were laughing at him and i know he was big mad at that it's because it's a joke you're a joke what you're saying is funny it's silly so that's why they're laughing at you because it doesn't make any sense and you're just grasping at straws you really are so then sammy and jess have a conversation and she does say she she's open i don't think she's open to mitch i think she is saying that so sammy doesn't feel like everything's on his time and i and i respect it um and I, I'm glad she said, well, you're speaking to Leah, so you, you, you really can't have any opinion on what I'm doing. 100% yes, stand on it. Stand on it, period. Um, and then what I was actually kind of confused about, which is why I'm thinking I might have to take back what I've already done said, but I'm still going to say, I still stand by that. Who was it? Sammy said that Mitch has previously called her attractive. If it was before today or tomorrow, or yesterday, then I might really believe it, but I'm not too sure. I still smell BS, but if, since Sammy said it, I feel like I have to kind of take somewhat notice of that, I guess. Um, I guess. Um, and then in the evening, I'm glad that, I, I, and I really don't care that Jesse's going to potentially use Mitch to make Sammy jealous because guess what? Sam, I mean, Mitch is using, is, tr is trying to use Jess to stay in the villa. So realistically, they cross each other out and I'm cool with it. I don't have no issue with that. Now guys, when they're in the bed, Jess is touching uh sammy somewhere now i'm not quite too sure where that place was um but i'm gonna leave it there because let me not go let me not start doing speculation so in the morning guys i think this might be the first time since love island has started this season that all the boys are together and all the girls are together i don't know if they've been looking at people's tweets watching my videos hearing them saying that they're separate i don't know but finally all together which was i guess nice to see when i don't even remember what all zach was talking about i think um what's his name scott was saying he wants to get to know molly and he also wants to see what all the hype is about and then here comes that talking about oh yeah do your thing broski broski i'm just like actually let me rest actually let me rest oh my there's just something about him that just does my absolute head in it just does my head in honestly it does my actual head in but let me move on let me actually move on so the guys start making the girls breakfast i don't know how many guys but i know Tariq made breakfast now i can't even say Tariq made made breakfast for um for ella Mehdi made breakfast for ella if i if we're gonna call it if we're gonna call a spade a spade that was what the situation was um but i guess Tariq tried and Maybe put black pepper on the egg. That's what he looked like he did. But anyways, that's what happened. Then Scott and Catherine are having another conversation. And again, it's giving PTSD. I don't want to do... I, guys, I'm not going to... I don't have another... And I don't have another Zach and Catherine energy in me. I done played myself already. I'm not even doing that no more. I'm not doing that no more. And I think the reason why Zach was somewhat believable is because you can tell he's been around the culture. Now, this one... I don't know where he's been at. And again, I'm not saying anything about him, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There is, Zach seemed wholly believable because he seemed like he's been around us. Um, and he still played games. So that's why, again, I, guys, I'm, I'm just, again, PTSD. I'm so sorry. Anyways, moving on. Jess says to Mitch that she feels like he's just basically grasping at straws. She's the last one left on the shelf. She's the last bag of bag, bag, bag of crisps, and he just wants to pick her up because the man really wants um, salt and vinegar, but only ready salted is left on the shelf. So he's just gonna pick up ready salted. She don't just don't want to be ready salted, and I don't blame her. Yeah, I don't blame her, and I'm glad she's peeping game and isn't falling for this foolishness that Mitch is even trying to pull over her. So Scott is having conversations with a lot of the girls now. He's having a conversation with Whitney and he should just even be blessed to have a conversation with Whitney because Whitney is just hilarious, good. Like, I just can't wait for someone to come in for her. That's just, and it's just going to give power a couple and she's going to be getting my vote every single week, period. So I'm waiting on that. 
He also had a conversation with Molly and Molly was saying she's not looking at anybody else in the villa, but I don't know if that does. It seems like that also includes Scott. So I think she's closed off at the moment. And that's the thing that's quite funny. She, oh, I'm going to still be open. I want to be open. I want to be open. No, I think she just wants to be closed off with Zach. And I think the idea of seeing Zach dating or talking to other people, I think it's made the whole I want to be open thing quite um, closed off, in my opinion. Well, uh, and then Sammy has a conversation with Mitch and Sammy is calling out Mitch for being sly. Now, guys, Mitch is sly. But Sammy, I don't want to hear it because it really is the pot calling the kettle black. It really is throwing stones from glass houses and I'm not here for it. You're here lying to Jess saying that you're interested in her. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Because I'm sorry, even though I said looks comes first, personality comes second, it works in reverse. So if you have the looks and no personality, it's a no. If you if I don't find you attractive but you've got the personality, it's still a no. And Sammy seemed like one of those Jack the Laddie type of guys that if a girl that comes in that's more of his type, that has the banter and the, the looks, he's gonna go for her. Regardless of that, he's gonna do bits in Castle Royal anyway. So let me just put that into the atmosphere as it's, a, it's already there. Um, so yeah, it just seems like he really wants to pull up Mitch, not because Mitch is really sly. I think it's more because of his ego, if I'm honest. Because remember, Sammy has options. Remember, guys, he told us he has options. So I think it's more so that because he don't want Jess to have options. Um, he just wants to be her one and only option so he can pick her up and put her down when he sees fit. So then Ella and Scott have a conversation and he's saying that he's actually... No, she's saying that she's attracted to him. So there's that. And then she says that she's open to get to know him, and she's also told, told Tariq that. Now, guys, the way Tariq got his knickers in a bunch, Tariq needs to go, where? In the bin. Because, honestly, this man has some nerve, this man has audacity, because audacity is apparently on sale, yeah? Mehdi had it yesterday, yesterday and he done passed it over to, to, to Tariq, because the fact that you think you're going to put her on 24-hour notice to get to come, she don't just only talk to the guy, and now you're getting all upset. Now, when she got upset, you didn't understand her, but now you're upset. You want her to understand you. Tariq, you have to be serious. If we're going to play fair, we need to play fair. Just because you're now ready to close yourself off doesn't mean now she has to dance to the beat of your drum. That's what happens when you play games. People sometimes play harder than you. That's what happens when you play a game. So, realistically, look at your past behaviour. Don't even don't even get full of yourself. If Ella comes back to you, just be lucky and be blessed. That's it. Moving on. Then they get a text, and um, it's about the the who's gonna get jumped. So the boys in the bottom are Zach. Now, guys, well, I was happy because I know this guy probably thinks he's London's finest, or everyone in London is voting for him. No, they're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Um, Andre. Now, guys, I was shocked. The way I was like. <gasps> Like, honestly, I was moving out Whitney when I heard Andre's name. I swear I was moving out Whitney because why was Andre in the bottom, guys? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The amount of people that I, uh, that said that they voted for him, I'm confused. I'm really, really confused. And then Sammy. Sammy's a no-brainer. So I'm still trying to figure out who all voted for Mitch and Mehdi because I feel like people only really like Mehdi because they like Whitney. Now that he tried, he tried it, who all is voting for him? That's what I'm... It's giving producer fix i don't know guys it's giving producer fix because i'm sorry who always voting for me if you vote for me i'm not gonna drag you guys i'm not i just want to know and i want to know why because the man's scary someone's gonna need a restraining order here in three two one so yeah but i just think he's bs and again it just really really let me know that fear 500 are alive and well um we you know I me mean? we, we, we they, they probably they came out and was like you, you guys thought you thought you thought we weren't here but they said we back like, we ain't never left before. Okay. All right. And then for the girls, Charlotte, Leah, and Catherine. Why was Catherine there? And that's why I'm glad I voted for Catherine yesterday because a lot of you guys were like, oh, people are going to have the same mindset that I had. But I don't think so. Whitney is that good. Whitney is really that girl, yeah? I mostly voted for Catherine because I was like, she needs more time. If Catherine wasn't there, Whitney would have got my vote hands down. And Whitney's loved by loads of people. This girl transcends and is just lovable. She's just lovable. So I didn't have any fear about Whitney, but Catherine, I knew to have fear. But it was just ridiculous. I'm just happy that also that Ella and Whitney were saved. Um, Jess, mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say Jess. Jess is going to give us good content. Molly, mm, okay. Again, Fear 500, Alive and Well, voted for Molly. So one Islander each is going to go and the boys have to pick 
the girls and the girls have to pick the boys. Before they even picked, I literally wrote here Charlotte and Andre because we already know what type of time it is. Um, so yeah, and those are the two people that went home. I'm just confused why Mehdi has decided to become Mr. Speaker. Why is this man always speaking at the week? Like, he's speaking about people getting dumped. When is he going to be his time to get dumped? Again, it's only been one day since he's done since he done irritate me, so let me calm down. But anyways, um, Catherine went home, no brain no, no one cares. Her days were numbered from the time she even walked up in the villa. And again, no one is age shaming nobody, it's simply that this is not her demographic. It's just not. You see me, me being a black girl, I can't go on no love island because I already know what type of time it is. I'm not gonna try to come out in well, also my career and I just wouldn't go on love island. But um yeah, that's I just wouldn't do it. So there's just certain things that you just wouldn't do because it's just not for you. It's not, you know what I mean? I I, I don't know much about the moon. So I, would I want to go then? No, no, not per se. You know, I prefer to go to, I don't know, Tulum. You know what I mean? Aruba, Miami. That's more my thing. So, but again, a, a space guy would love to go there. So just different things for different people, guys. Different things for different people. Now, Andre going home. Again, I think part of that is that produce, we barely saw him. We barely saw him. We barely saw him. We're only now starting to see Catherine a bit more because she's speaking to Scott, but we barely saw him. So maybe he was forgettable, even though he was the first one on the app because his name is A for Andre. But there wasn't enough content that probably people that, we, that people saw to make them feel like, oh yeah, let me vote him. So yeah, Catherine and Andre are gone. Not Catherine, oh God forbid, not Catherine. Charlotte and Andre are gone. And yeah, so in the preview, Catherine is crying because um, I think she probably is realizing that she probably liked him more than she thought because now he's not an option. Now he's gone. And then we see Jess and Sammy cuddled up. Now, I don't really know what Sunday holds because I don't know what kind of preview that was, but we shall see. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You know, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.